guys are gonna be a good fish. Here he comes. <laughs> that is going nuts. Oh, oh lost him. <laughs> that's the problem with um. That's the problem with giant herring. That is fully rasped up. But I don't really care because that was pretty epic. I've got one in. Let's see if I can get another one. Before I run out of life. What I'm going to try and show you is how to target these fish. So I've got the two Elite units, Elite TI2s, and they're joined wirelessly. So what I can do, what I mark on here, will mark up on that on the chart. I can do my trails and also my sonar, which is a traditional sonar. So what I'm doing, we're, we're fishing, there's a few fish there. So what I'm going to do, I've set up a bit of a drift trail. I've been finding a few separate fish, two and three fish in a school. And they're a bit hard, like if it was a bigger school, I'd drive over them, position the boat with the electric and, and target them a bit easier. You can see a few fish coming up here now. So what I'm going to do, I've set up a drift line. So I'm marking on the sounder where the fish are. I'm going up and it's about a hundred meter drift and I'm going to stay in that drift line and work a vibe. Here comes some fish now. You can see these white streaks coming up. So there's one, two, three, four, five fish there. I'll just mark them up so we can have a look. So if I zoom in on that, you'll see them one, two, three, four, five and they've got a little shadow there. I don't know if you can see that. So. I'll put a mark on them, quickly, save it, clear my cursor, go back out, so I've got a mark for them fish. So what I'm going to do is set a drift line up, I've got a few other marks just up here, and I'm going to drift down and use this vibe using a TT switchblade because I know what they are, I know they're giant herring, so they love switchblades. We're just going to sit out the front of the boat, follow my GPS marks up there on the front unit, yeah, and vertical jig these fish. So I'll just get up into position, and hopefully we can hook one up for you. And that's the beauty of having two sounders. You can have one here and then one up the front, and with these TI2 units, just even to be able to see your depth, see what's at the underneath your boat and to follow your GPS marks is really good. So here's my mark up here. I'm going to turn the boat around. I'm just up on it. Up from it, I should say. Yep. Here we go. I'll just put the boat in reverse so she stops. And there's a fish as we're coming through now. So I'll turn this off. We'll go up the front. It's marking a few more there. So on this unit, you can see I've got my marks here. If I zoom out, I'll see if you can see it. I've got a mark here. So all this is in my drift line. So this is where I've been getting the fish. There's a bit of bait coming through now. So yeah, pretty basic. Just nose into the current. And with these switchblades, pretty much just Drop them straight down, and we're just going to do vertical jigs off the bottom. There's fish coming through there now in the sounder. I'm just coming over it. A couple of marks now. And fish obviously move, so it's you can work the pattern out though. There's always a pattern to it, and you can see these fish have all stayed in the same area. So that's, there's only, oh, there's 20 meters marking on my sounder. So no more than 20 meters all the way along this line. So they must be feeding along here on this bottom. There's a lot of undulations and it's near seven meters. So just keep plodding along and it'll happen. Just mark some fish up on underneath on the sounder here. So I'm going to show you the track back. So press on here 
and come back and have a look at that. And that's all fish on the bottom, straight underneath the boat. I'll zoom in a bit. So that tells me there's going to be some fish here and it's going to happen. So what I'm doing now, I've done a few drifts and this, the fish seem to be marking in the pretty much the same area. So I'm just going to sit and cast around the area and see how we go. Another good thing about these vibes, these switch blades, is they're very good for searching ground quickly. They sink quick, they vibe really well, and they're very easy to work. Just short lifts off the bottom, let it hit the bottom, come up. Just keep rocking it like that. the boat now so I'll just take the spot lock off and start me drift back up once the boat catches up with the lure I'll just be drifting on top of it This is going to go pretty crazy. So yeah, just keep that. Oh, this is a nice fish too. Oh, really nice fish. Here he goes, it's going to jump. Oh, that is so cool. But just by keeping an eye on your sounder, you've seen I used the track back there. Started my drift again and then come up onto another fish. These things are so cool. So yeah, a little switchblade. I'm running 20 pound leader, which may not be enough, but we'll, we'll see. There you go so well. So, good idea just to keep pressure on them. I've got a fairly light drag because they're renowned for throwing hooks and rasping up. Oh. I'll say this fish would probably be close to around the meter. These are awesome little reels too. It's a little Helios 4000 from Akuma and a Saros rod. Oh yes. I don't know if you've seen him but there you go. Look at that. I'll just get the net. Try and keep his Oh, head above water there. There we go. It's a nice giant herring. Put on the switchblade. What I'll do, I'll keep him in the water because they don't release well. And uh, I'll get that blade out now and yeah, release him. So there you go. Keep an eye on your sounder. Pick the right lure. In that instance, it was a switchblade. And yeah, follow a few tips and you'll be all over it.